<laughs> so this is the contact stack. Up. I can to use and react. It's pretty straightforward. You enter your name, email address, phone number, and a note. Once you press save, you'll be able to, it will come up on this side. And then you can click on the name and you review the details. You can also edit it as you can see here and save changes. Press create new contact to create a new contact. You can delete contacts once they are selected and you can refresh the system. So it's a pretty straightforward app. I'm just going to go through how each different component works. We're just going to look at the code and well, yeah. Alright, so first things first, it's a basic HTML template. So in the public index.html, this is the basic template of the app. You have the bootstrap style sheet here some navigation stuff so that's the navigation bar this is where we have the name it's in here and then this is where the actual app is loaded then we have the javascript files so in app.js i don't think we really did much here so we're just gonna move forward to hope. Well, actually, app.js is important because that is where we import home. So, we import home, which is this file across here, and we pass it in here as a component. So, let's look at how home is built. This, is, this contains most of the code for our app. And if you can look back at the app, you see we have two main sections. So on your left, you have a new contact. On your right, you have your contacts listing, listing, and and some extra buttons to so refresh, create new contact, delete contact. So keep note of that. So home is a component. So within home.js, which is in the source directory, you can see we have we created a class here extend component uh, which we pull from react and we have our component file here now let's just look at render quickly you can see that we have uh, two main sections so our first section is this so this is the left hand side yes this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side so on the left we actually have and we'll get into that. We can just create contacts component on the contact view component. On the right, we just have the contacts listing component. So the name of that component is contacts. So this is this one here. So contacts on the right and on the left, we have the option between create contacts and contact view. At the top, of whom we can see we import our components that we use so let's create an external so we have contacts create contacts contact view now we are going to look at the contacts listing which is the component on the right the name of that is contacts and the file name is contacts so we're going to go in here and look at see how that's built up so to point out if you look again at the right we have contacts this thing a list of contacts in your directory now that part is actually still within home so we have the i believe it's here yes so this is the heading and the title well for contacts this thing is here so heading and title are still in home, but the actual component 
uh, display through us of HTML. So everything from here downwards is within our component. So when we look at our component render function, we can see first we have our actions here. Refresh the system, create a new contact, delete contact, etc. And then we have a list group here. And the list group is where we display all the list of contacts. So our list group is taken from items, which is in the state. So we can just go down and see how we do that. Alright, so our constructor has our contacts passed to it and we attach a state item so we put in our state object we have our items object which we attach to the components that we get from the props that is passed all right so that so we get any items from props so just keep that in mind so once we have the items, it's pretty simple. We just iterate through it. We use the map function. So remember, items is within the state object. So this, that state items, we map, and every item or every object that we map, map, we get the list item name. So now we can say list item ID or list item name list item email because list item now represents the object that we you know working currently iterating through currently all right so that's pretty straightforward we have our edit button and we have these are functions so we have an edit contact function we have a view contact function and we look into that later. so the main item the main question is how we get in it, the contacts, because remember we passed it or we have access there from the props. So let's look at that. So within home, we pass contacts, this is how we pass props. So our prop item is contacts and it's associated, associated with this state items and what we do in here so let's look at it we have a this we have a get contacts function that pulls all the contacts so I'm actually not using this function here so that kind of confused me So, I am not using get contacts. So, here's what we do it. We have a current contact object, and when we create our state object, we assign the current contact item to the current contact object we created here. And the items is just as empty array. So, at first, we will just just the state of items as the empty array. Now when we go into contacts, we call the this get contacts function. And this is what actually updates our listing. So it uses fetch, it gets the data and it assigns it to the state object items. So items response data. So once this state uh, changes, once items changes, then it refreshes and shows the data that, um, within within this view, within the list group. So now all our items are shown. So we have an error. So most likely this is the error. Right. So um, and it still works. So it's correct. So within contacts is where we. Within contacts.js is where we call in the get contacts function to display our data. We 
doing that within the constructor as you can see here we call it this that get contacts uh, it assigns the state object items to the response that we get back from the call and it will update our view great so another thing to note is we can pass functions as props so edit contact view contact refresh i think create contact and remove contact now all functions we are defined within home.js and we pass it to our child component uh, and we pass the function to our child component and then within contacts we can access it calling this props and the name of the function so as you can see here for example edit we see this props edit contact and we pass in the argument if required so once you know how to display data before we get into our functions the next thing you might want to do is how to add data to the listing because that was the order i went in if you see display the data then you add it using the section and then you refresh refresh the page so we're gonna look at how we do that now so within and in our render function let's look at the create contacts component we're gonna ignore any of this fancy stuff here for now so we just focus in on create contacts so within create dash contacts js we have our contacts component and the main thing to note is in our render function this is where we display our form so we have our form elements we have contact name input the email input phone number input and the node input so again we're looking at the left hand section this section here we also have the save contact button so we need to be able to handle change when something happens in our input elements so to do that we have a handle change function so on all of the unchanged attributes we attach handle change function so we do this for our input for email for everything and if we look at this function here it basically says if the target name is equal to the current target that we on we set the state to the value of the target so create contact name in that target value create contact email so forth so forth so forth so we change the state of the create contact object every time we correct uh the correct input element or the correct form element has changes within it now you can see up here that we have the basic create contact object and this pulls from the props that we pass in just to look at that again this state create contact so whatever our current contact is that is what it's passing in to contact JS and that can be a empty a empty object as well so it doesn't need to have anything with it anyway so the handle change function is with those changes and um, that allows us to have the most current value uh, within memory right and then when we call handle submit this is where we actually save the data so let's look at handle submit so it checks validity it takes in it creates a form data object using the target and then it passes the save contact function 
from props. So again, it doesn't seem like we're using this function here. We're just going to uh, copy that out. Save that. Save that. I assume I did that for, I don't know, ease because I wanted all the functions within one area and I just pass it through. So anyway, so this prop save contacts, so that means within whom we have a save contact. So let's look for that here, save contact. So we pass the data, we use fetch, we tell it the method is post, and when that is complete, then we call on contacts edit, which does two things. It calls the get contacts, Ooh, so apparently I'm using it within here. So it calls get contacts, so I would need back this function. So that, that might be a not structured currently, but this is how we work in. So after we save our contact, we call it this on contact added function, which is here. It calls get contacts, which is up here, which would update the listing. And it says the current contact to an empty object. So that should clear the form. Alright, so that is basic create contact. So let's just see that in action. Does it show? Yes. So there we have it. And we can see the information we added. This, this is wrong. And when we press edit, we can see it again and we can change maybe. And this one can't. Save that. Refresh. And we can see the new information. So, some things to note. When we create functions, we bind it to the component i just think that's the way it has to be done i don't know the official reason but if you don't do that and you attempt to call these functions here you get an error because i guess you didn't assign it to class so it doesn't find it within context so you must bind the functions you create so we did that in create contact we even did that within whom so we bind all the functions we created, so that means we can use them within our render function, right? Uh, so one thing to note. So our get contacts and save contacts, which is two things we looked at already, are just simple PHP. So let's just look at that. Get contacts. We don't need to review this. It's just simple stuff. We insert it to a database. Oh, no. Here we pull in from a database and here we insert in and also update in. So we have two queries basic SQL and the update SQL. And depending on whether we have an ID passed, we would update or insert. Alright? Really straightforward. Alright, so we're going to make a part one. We're going to stop here. Uh, for the next section, we're going to look at how we change the different views and get into further how the different buttons work uh, and, and that should be primarily in. So we have delete, uh, create new contact, um, probably edit. Yeah. Kinda should already have an idea of this, but I'm gonna pause now. Pause here for now.